Kelly. So late last week, Charles Robinson of Yahoo wrote an article uh, that quoted one of the investigating officers in the Deshaun Watson situation as saying she felt that a crime was committed in her deposition. Uh, Kim Ogg is the Harris County District Attorney. That's the county that Houston is in. She was on the Mike Metzer podcast of Sports and the Law, and um, here's her opinion on that opinion of the investigating officer. The officer certainly is entitled to her opinion. It's just not evidence. And I was, I have one follow up on that. This is something I was curious about, Kim. If hypothetically a grand jury had chosen to indict, is that, there's obviously the deposition part, but if someone like that, a police investigator were called to testify, is that kind of evidence admissible? Oh, no, it's fair game for cross-examination, though. I would imagine that somebody might have a lot of questions for uh, any officer who said they started by, uh, quote, believing. Of course, we want to support rape victims. Of course, we want to be sensitive to individuals who claim sexual assault. But our own bias and conflicts of interest based on whatever they're based on are always fair game for the other side to challenge us on and the lens through which something was looked at. That's why opinions aren't evidence. And Jacob, so what uh, Kim Ogg is talking about is the investigative officer said they start by assuming the victim is telling the truth, uh, which would incriminate the person that they're saying it against, which is obviously the complete opposite of what happens in trial. Again, investigation and trial, not the same. But Kim Ogg makes a really good point. Uh, this officer's testimony that everybody was all up in arms about is an evidence. It's an opinion. Yeah, and I think uh, Charles Robinson's piece that talked about it, I thought was a really well-written piece because it felt like it brought everything from both sides of the arguments. And he kind of talked about that, the, the, the thing that she was talking about in that clip about cross-examination, because if you look at some of the questions that Rusty Harden kind of lobbed back at her was he kind of got to ask her well so was there a bias like you started out believing he was guilty and she said yes so i think that's really interesting that the way it was kind of put out there because you the way we've been dealing with this case is every time something comes out we just don't know what to do and we're like what does this mean what does this mean and i and i'm, I'm really glad that that was put out there that like hey this is this is in a court of law anyway, this is what this means and it's not much.